me watching, he takes the knife to her, laughing while he does it. He turns to me and he says, why so serious? Forty-two Entertainment is a company out of Pasadena, and we were brought in to create an experimental marketing campaign and alternate reality experience around the Dark Knight. The community was very split about how Heath Ledger was going to play one of the most iconic villains of all time. Jack Nicholson had put an amazing stamp on the character in the first film, and Heath hadn't really done anything similar to this. There was a lot of question about whether or not he could play this villain. How do you close that gap of that uncertainty in the public vein? So we put a spotlight on that character. The filmmakers wanted to get that very specific first image of Heath and Joker makeup out to the community. Chris wanted to create a very real universe. It had to be a very organic looking makeup. This guy is sleeping in his clothes for a week. His hair is oily and greasy and he doesn't take off his makeup for three to five days. I'm a trained makeup artist and at first the lines were very clown-like and it looked like a makeup artist did it and it just wasn't right. And then Chris Nolan brought in these Francis Bacon paintings, these very blurry images. That really set the tone. That was our Bible and set us in a direction of muting down and degrading the makeup. I was a little nervous a few times trying to keep the continuity going. We would scrunch Heath's face and I would paint colors over it and we'd get all these crow's feet in the corners of his eyes, his forehead expression. Those were strategic marks that we always hit. You wanna know how I got these scars? I couldn't even tell it was Heath. One of the first images that we ever saw of the Joker was the picture that was released when we started the alternate reality experience. We had put a little teaser on the Warner Brothers site where you could find the I Believe in Harvey Dent campaign poster in comic book stores or Joker cards that said, I Believe in Harvey Dent too. And so they followed the cards to a URL where they put in their email and that allowed them to take a pixel away from the campaign poster, revealing the first image of the Joker. It caught on fire. It was a very effective and dramatic way to change the conversation. The fans really felt like they were a part of it because it was something that they had discovered. I think we all knew we were on something pretty special. Heath as the Joker it was revelatory, it was transformational. I have never felt such an emotional draw to a character that did not have good intentions. He made it look effortless, just knew exactly what was going to happen, what was going on. It was amazing to watch. You could not take your eyes off of him. His relationship with Batman in that film, the unstoppable force meeting the immovable object, is one of the greatest relationships between superheroes. It's become iconic, this whole image. It was an amazing situation to be involved in, and we're still talking about it so many years later. His performance was just amazing. He will always be the Joker.